Admittedly, my preferred Facebook platform to use whenever I am managing my Facebook business page and my Instagram business profile is Facebook Creator Studio. But I have noticed recently that Facebook is trying really hard to get me to use Facebook Business Suite. And I'm guessing that you've probably experienced or seen the same thing. And so in this video, I wanna walk through the Facebook Business Suite offering as of July, 2021. Hi y'all, I'm Vivian Walton, the Season Marketer, and I share marketing tips, tools, and tactics with resourceful business owners. A friendly reminder that every week I release a new marketing video, so if that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now, or follow me on any one of my other social media accounts. As a marketing professional and business owner that is using Facebook and Instagram on the daily, I'm going to keep it real with you guys and share my true sentiments about Facebook Business Suite. This right here is a text that I recently got from a friend of mine and my response back to her is exactly how I feel about Facebook Business Suite. I have always preferred to use Facebook Creator Studio whenever I am managing both a Facebook business page and also an Instagram business profile, but I get the inkling that my time is running out with Facebook Creator Studio. Every single time that I log into Facebook recently, it is forcing me to use Facebook Business Suite. And I'd imagine that you may be experiencing the same thing. I'm a firm believer in preparing for the worst. And so I have taken the time to look through Facebook Business Suite because I do know that it has changed quite a bit since I last looked at it in 2020. First, I wanna make a clear distinction. In this video, I'm not gonna be walking through the Facebook Business Suite app. I'm going to be doing it from my laptop. So this is the desktop version. If you are looking for a video on the app, that's something that I'll probably do down the road. But uh, personal preference, I always manage my accounts from a laptop. I don't like doing it from my smartphone. It's just a personal preference that I have. I guess I'm old school in that way. So in this video, we're going to be doing the desktop version. Now let's talk capabilities of Facebook Business Suite. Since we reviewed it in 2020, there are a few new things that they have added. And so some of the capabilities we'll be reviewing today are, one, your ability to post on Facebook and Instagram, two, ability to schedule posts ahead of time on both platforms, three, ability to post Instagram stories, four, ability to schedule Instagram stories for future posting, five, access to a content calendar, and six, access to a listing of social media holidays. All right, so now I've logged into my Facebook account. If you'll notice here to the left where it says your shortcuts, all of the Facebook business pages that I have access to are going to appear here. Now, many of you are just going to have one of them, which is your um, business page, and that's perfectly perfectly fine. I'm going to click on the season marketer. That's the one that I want to manage. Now, important to note that I have already integrated my Instagram business uh, profile and my Facebook business page. So I have access to both of them. If you have not set this up yet, you're going to need to do that. It's really simple to do and Facebook Business Suite will walk you through how to do that. But since I've already done it, I'm just gonna skip ahead and show you guys what Facebook Business Suite is looking like these days. So up here to the left, I'm gonna click on Business Suite and it's gonna pull up this home page right here. Notice that on the left, you're always going to have your options, home, activity, inbox, post and stories, commerce, calendar, ads, insights, more tools. When you click on more tools, that's where you can find your ads manager, your ads reporting, appointments, billing, any of that information. I'm gonna go back to the home page though, and this right here, um, the little directory that appears on the left-hand side, they've added a lot more options than what they had back in September of 2020 when I did my other Facebook business suite. So we know that they're going in and making changes and making Facebook business suite better as we go. Now remember, one of the capabilities that we were going to look at in Facebook Business Suite was the ability to post on both Facebook 
uh, business and also Instagram business. And so on here, this is where you can do it from. Click create post. This box will appear right here. It is really easy to put the caption in right here where it says text on the left hand side. And then if you notice both these check marks are um, selected, which means that it can with one click post to both Facebook and Instagram at the same time. So you're not having to copy and paste or duplicate anything. Down here, you add photo, add video, create video, and you can also optionally add your location. Now, the one distinction I want to make here too, though, is that remember on Instagram, a lot of times when you're posting, you can't post a link and you're having to do a link in bio. And if that's something that you're doing for your particular post, you may want to use the option right here to the right, which is showing you that you could toggle between Facebook and Instagram and change the text slightly. And so that is an option that you have. And that's something that I feel like I would most certainly use because a lot of times I am telling people to look at um, my bio for a link on Instagram. So just be cognizant when you're doing that, that you're not trying to post links onto Instagram. In addition, another thing we were going to look at is that you can actually schedule the post ahead of time on either Facebook or Instagram. Now the way you would do that is using this same box here you would go in and let's say I would type and I'm gonna add a photo so let's just say I'm gonna do this photo right here open it's gonna give me a preview here on the right hand side. Now I can look at the preview from this drop down selection on my Facebook desktop. I can do Facebook mobile so I can see what it looks like on the phone. Or if over here I select Instagram, it'll give me the same option for Instagram as far as what it looks like. The one thing I'll tell you is let's say I'm gonna post or schedule the post here. When you come down, instead of hitting publish right here in this blue box, hit that down arrow and you could do schedule post. When you select schedule post, it'll give you an option of selecting a date and time, and that's how you pre-schedule those. Now, one of the other options that you have in Facebook Business Week is to actually post onto Instagram Stories. So this was something that we didn't have the capability of doing before, but now you can do it from here. You would go down here and select Post and Stories. If you notice, it's gonna pull up all of the posts and stories that you have done in the past. On the left-hand side, it shows post, stories, feed and grid, Facebook photos. If I click on stories, that's where it shows me how many stories I have active. I can look at the ones that I have scheduled, which I don't have any scheduled yet. And then I can also look at the archived ones in case I had archived any of the stories, which I have not. All right, so if I were wanting to publish a story here, I would simply come over here to active. I could do create story up here at the top, or I could come right here and create story. Either one of them works. Notice that you can select if you want it to go to your Facebook stories and your Instagram stories, or if you just want to do one or the other, that's where you would select it right here. Now, if I want to add media, I'm just going to pick any photo that's in here. If I scroll down, it's going to give me the preview in both Facebook and Instagram on the screen. But if I scroll down here, I have other options for creative tools. If I wanted to crop, I can do that right there, right? Or let's go ahead and, and keep that one. Apply. You hit apply down here. Then if I wanted to add text, I'm gonna hit text and let me select this one, add text and just do hi, hello, how are you, right? And I could just move it around wherever I want. I can make it larger or smaller, hit apply in order for it to take effect. And then another option is to add stickers. So if I click stickers on here, I can do thanks health heroes, hit apply again. And it gives you the capability of actually being able to, um, to put your story together right here in Facebook Business Suite. When you are done, you simply select 
published story, and that's it. Additionally, one of the other things we talked about is now having the capability of scheduling these ahead of time, which is fabulous. One less thing for you to do in the moment. You can actually plan out some of your stories ahead of time now. The one way to do that is let's say you've gotten to this point, if you wanted to schedule it instead of publishing it right then and there in the moment, you simply come down here to the arrow and select schedule story. It's gonna give you that box again that lets you pick a date and a time and then you hit save and it will schedule it and actually post at that date and time that you have selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here because I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna cancel my story. Another thing we talked about is that now you can have access to calendars. So let's come over here to the left-hand side and select calendar. What you'll see is that you actually have a calendar where all of your posts appear. Now the really great thing is that you can use this now to plan your post stories and whatnot ahead of time. So if you prefer to look at something in this form on a calendar, that works really, really great. Notice you can toggle between your weeks and your months, and this is a fabulous way for you to be able to to ensure that you are posting and utilizing both Facebook and Instagram if you have presence on both of those. Um, and notice that it will tell you the times that these are scheduled for. So for somebody like me, this works really great because every Monday morning at 5.30, I schedule a new uh, video to be uploaded. And so this will show me exactly what time it's uploaded and give me an idea of everything that I've done within the last year, um, you know, within those months. Now, here I can also filter by content. If I just want to see posts, if I just want to see stories, um, and the other really nice thing that we said we were going to mention is the access to social media holidays. And so one of the things that a lot of content creators or business owners are utilizing and really maximizing are the fact that we have a lot of these social media holidays that pop up, you know, um, National Puppy Day, National Margarita Day, all of that stuff. Facebook understands that this is a big deal and that sometimes it can be hard for people to go online and kind of piece these together from different um, you know blogs and whatnot trying to figure out what they want to do so they've added this feature here to the right hand side that is listed as moments now if you notice moments it will tell you what moments are coming up and these are holidays that they have preloaded to let us know about so saturday july 24th um, it's Parent Appreciation Day, and on there it says nothing scheduled. Now, if I had done something for National for Parent Appreciation Day, then it would tell me that something is scheduled on here. It gives you the option to create from here. So if I select Create, I can do Create Post or Create Story and go from there. So that's a really nice feature. It's a good way for them to integrate all of those pieces in one spot. I really like it because it seems like they have taken the time to um, to help eliminate just one one more step for us to have to do. Relaxation day, if you notice, I'm going through here for August. National Dog Day is Thursday, August 26th, in case you guys did not know. World Beer Day is Saturday, September 4th, and on and on. It shows Labor Day, Patriot Day, and whatnot. So this is a great tool that you can use to help you plan your post ahead of time as well. It seems like they have loaded all of our analytics um, in the same hub, our insights, all of that good stuff. So if you did want to come in here and look at your insights, you certainly could. It tells you your results, your content, and your audience as well. And so on here, it'll give me my Facebook page reach and then also my Instagram reach and then how much of that is my paid reach if I'm running ads, which I'm not. So um, that's, you know, that's pretty good. You can look in at an audience report, which then breaks down even further who your audience members are between your Facebook and your Instagram um, pages. Now, the one thing I do see here is it says Facebook page likes. We all know that 
page likes are eventually going to be phased out and instead um, they're going to keep the page followers. So as it shows, I have 588 page likes, but my follower count is over a thousand. That's not showing up on here, but that is something that's a metric that I would prefer to use because that means people who are looking at my page and have decided to follow, which means that they get to see more of my content besides just liking my page. So down here, if you scroll down, it gives you for both your Facebook and Instagram audience, your top cities, where most of the people are that are viewing or looking at your content and also the top countries as well. So that's a really great feature that would provide you a lot more information depending on what type of business you're in. All right, so now let's flip over to commerce. If you guys have a um, account that is actively selling things on Facebook or on Instagram, this is where you would find all of your information. So notice it takes you to your commerce manager, um, which is something that you look at anyway. So it's just redirecting you out to that section of your Facebook business page. Um, so all of that information will be stored here, but it looks like you know, end of the day, it looks like Facebook Business Suite as far as the desktop version, they are making um, more updates to it, which is great because like I said, when we looked at this in September of 2020, it did not look like this and it didn't have as many features to it. So I'm glad that they're, they're starting to add a little more to it. From my understanding, the app still has quite a few bugs. Um, as I said, I'm not a big fan of posting or using apps to post my information. I like doing it from a laptop instead. But in one of these um, upcoming videos, I'll probably dive into the Facebook Business Suite app to show you guys where that's at because I'm sure if they made some of the revisions here to um, the desktop version, you know they've done the same on the app or at least have attempted to. If you like this video, remember that every Monday I release a video just like this with information that could help you save time and money when it comes to marketing your business. Don't forget that I have a website at www.theseasonmarketer.com where I have a couple freebies for you to download. So go check that out here today. Thanks again for tuning into another Monday Marketing Minute. I'll catch you guys next week, same time and place.